that you don't care. <laughs> yeah. Cryptocurrency, crypto, crypto. I see you. You know, we I start with a teaser Bobo. and then it goes into the music. Here we go for episode number 185, uh, titled Litecoin Summit Live with Charlie Lee and Open Block in three, two, it's a beautiful day in San Francisco, and we're coming to you live from the very first Litecoin Summit. They did that well. That was, that was nice. good. That was On good. today's show, we'll welcome back Litecoin founder Charlie Lee. Next generation day trading platform, Open Block, will share their vision. We'll cover some of the latest news with special guest Naomi. Na <clears throat> we'll cover some of the latest news with special guest Naomi Brockwell, aka Bitcoin Girl, and we're going to discover some cool crypto projects from some of the attendees to this great event. It's the Don't You Wish You Were as Smart as Charlie Lee and Sold Your Litecoin at the Top, episode number 185 of the Bad Crypto Podcast. All right. There we go. <laughs> Goes into the music, and that's the last time I'm going to mention that, Charlie, I promise. <laughs> He's, yeah, we were supposed to mention that, Mr. Joel He's Tom. going, he's going, oh my gosh. All right. We're supposed here. to ignore that. Into the show we go. Ah, uh, he's, he's leaving. He's gone. Is okay. somebody else named Charlie here? It's and the Mr. Charlie Johnson episode of, no? Ready? Well, I don't know. No, that's perfect. Mr. Travis Wright, I think we're close to the airport. I don't know if the, they can pick this up or not. I don't know. You can hear the rumbling, yes. That, that comforts me to know that the venue is so close to the airport because my flight is at 654. Yeah. So we have to end promptly, and he is going to be dashing to go yes. through security. That's why I was so pleased at that 40-minute break right after the last <laughs> session, Naomi. Thank you for that. I was like, what? You want to start early? Get in Oh, uh, Mr. Joe Calm. Uh. Welcome to the Bad Crypto Podcast, the show for the crypto curious and the crypto serious heard around the world in all the places that matter and some of the ones that will soon matter. Mm, that is true. We're listening to 190 countries around the world. Not Greenland. At least one person in 190 countries. So it just sounds really good. And say, we have 190 countries, listeners all around the world. There's like one dude in Madagascar. Yeah. I think, it, yeah. He's, he's sitting out there in the middle of nowhere going. Hanging out with some lemurs. I like to crypto crypto. Yes. That's this show is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are bad, and we're glad uh, to be in front of a live audience here at the Litecoin Community Summit. What a, uh, what a great time this has been here. It has been a time. I don't know if it's been great. It's been sufficient. I, <laughs> no, I mean, this is a passionate group of people that are surrounding Litecoin and so this true. project and the enthusiasm. Uh, the, you, you meet so many that are working on fascinating projects. What, what's wrong? Sorry, my computer locked up. Uh, I got the intro bit. Okay. You're starting point. You're go back to okay. Sorry. That's really high quality. This ever, is great stuff. You ever have one of those moments that was so <laughs> awesome that you get to live it again? <laughs> Oh my this God! Is, this is not one of those moments. This but on cue, moments. the plane is flying over. That's good. Are, are we good? Can I go? Okay. This is so good. This is what live looks like, eh? I got it. He's, so he's got. He's got so his good. little Walkman recorder. He's got the blue screen of I, death I back there. It's like, sorry, we got no podcast, bro. In the meantime, Mr. Travis Wright will tap dance. In your mind. Yes. We good? Well, I'm just waiting for the signal that, uh, that we're good to record. This is the most awkward moment of Bad Crypto's history. No, it's not. It's not? That's no. true. No, we've... You've, had, you've said some pretty cringy things. Yeah, that's true. That is true. There was that time that you... Never mind. That's true. We don't want to talk about that again. The time that I sold all my Litecoin at the all-time high. I'll tell you what. The, there's, so awkward. The, <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you do that? We're going to lose our gas. Why? Because it was a smart time to he's, sell, duh. He's slowly easing up the <laughs> he's, door. Like, he's, he's like, I used to like Travis. Now I hate Look, him. Look, there he goes. The end <laughs> by Charlie. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Charlie hate Come me. back. Charlie bit me. Don't. <laughs> Bring him back. Don't do that. Charlie hate me. It's not part of the official show, Charlie. We promise. That was not recorded. That was not recorded. It will not be duplicated. Uh-oh. All right. Let's say that. What is that? No. 
I, I, it could be lethal, I don't know. You could have a brick in there. I'm like, throw it at me, dunk, and then you got this YouTube video so that great. goes viral. I'm soft and squishy too. This is nice. This is helping me make my flight on time. This is so good. I love this delay, brother. He, you know <laughs> what? These guys back there, give them a hand for doing all the production stuff because I know what goes into this, Mr. Travis Wright. That's and true. you know what? You can catch a standby if you need to because these people are here for some badness. That's true. And they're going to get it, damn it. My son's playing his first rock concert tomorrow. Yeah, his, awesome. his son's in I the got school, of that rock. school of rock stuff, right? So he's like really awesome at uh, the Guitar Hero. And I was like, dude, we got to get you on a real guitar. We're good. All right, here so we he's go. He's doing a rock concert tomorrow, which is going to be epic. All right, I don't remember what I said last time, but that's the beauty. We don't script this except for that little opening thing I read. So uh, mm -hmm. the, the jokes either are good or they're not, but they're spontaneous. That's true. And here we go. Take two and three, two. And it is the Bad Crypto Podcast, the show for the crypto curious, the crypto serious, and those near the, the airportus in San Francisco, because I hear a plane flying overhead. That is true. I just want to say thank you to whoever chose this venue so close to the airport. Well, it's Pretty a handy. good thing. Cause, this is good. Because you got to get there. Because i got to get there. i got an airplane to catch to Kansas City. You know, we it's not often I get a nonstop flight anywhere from Kansas City. i got to always go somewhere else before I go somewhere. That's what you get for living in Kansas City. I know. That's where I live. I live in beautiful Denver, Colorado, and you can get just about everywhere from there. I thought you were going to say, you can get just about anything in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> that <laughs> Rocky Mountain High <laughs> is also Colorado. very true. Uh, we're glad you're here. Thrilled to be here at the Litecoin Summit. What a great community of uh, developers and entrepreneurs and tokenists that are building the future together for Litecoin. Give yourselves a hand. I think it's amazing. Very good. Also, very good at clapping for themselves. That is true, except that person. She just did two claps. Yeah, okay. It's very step weak up. clap. That step, a weak step up clap the, game. She's holding a drink, though. The clapping. You know, that's what I want to say is, like, everyone that I've met here has been really cool, super smart, awesome people. This is a great, great community, so... We're, we're definitely uh, pleased to be here. So thank you to the Litecoin Foundation for having us out and uh, OpenBlock for having us as well. Absolutely. Well, we've got a few segments for you. We are going to be interviewing Mr. Charlie Lee today. We've got our sponsor, OpenBlock. We've got a crypto pitch. But first, we're going to get to the news. A little transition music. Naomi, come on up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Bitcoin girl. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's see. Hello. I'm going to put her on, uh, on five. There you go. Give that a test. And, news and here so she can see it as well. Is, is um, this feeding into your thing? Because I have a lab. Oh, we don't need her on five then. She's got a lob. I can't All right. She's got a lob. I'm assuming you've got her up. Okay. All right, here we go. You want to do a quick check? Testing Good. my okay. microphone. Okay. Oh, successfully. Mm. And, and joining us. For the news today, a recurring guest, a friend of the show, the one and only from Perth, Australia, huh? the delightful Naomi Brockwell. I like your accent. It's I'm not Australian. Strong. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> not even close, Joel. Uh, but I'm delighted to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so uh, what we like to do is go through some of the news of the week. And actually, let's just jump into Coin Market Cap for today because apparently my internet is down. Let's there don't, we go. Let's don't oh, go into no. coin market cap. No, no, we're going we're gonna to take a look. As if things because, couldn't get worse. Because <laughs> things are, are reasonably green today. We're looking at Bitcoin just over 6,500. Ethereum back off its lows of, what was it, 167 to 223. Uh, Ripple sitting at 28 cents. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. <laughs> Bcash, Bcash, 459. <laughs> Litecoin is sitting at 56 dollars, and Tether, mm, slipping, mm. 0.998. So mm, still yeah. around a dollar. I don't know when the hell that's gonna moon. It's yeah. taking forever. When is it gonna moon? It's pretty stagnant. Um, you know, I've been waiting for that to moon, and it just hasn't gone anywhere. It has not so, gone um, anywhere. Yeah. So let's talk some Litecoin news then, and uh, Charlie might be able to actually give us some uh, more insight on this once we have him on here, but the story from AMB Crypto, USD markets open on Bittrex for Litecoin and adoption is in progress. That is true. So yeah, they're going to do Litecoin to USD markets. So if you can, you can basically buy other cryptos with your Litecoin now. Including Cardano, 
and Zcash, but not Bcash. Right. Well, you can't buy all the other ones with it, just a few. Well, I don't know. It just says well, it that depends what's on the exchange. How many exchanges is Litecoin on? Like a lot of all them. All of them. Yeah, and we'll talk about that with Charlie. Is there too. any of them that's not on there? Like it should totally be on. <laughs> yes. Like, what the hell? Yes, and yeah. Charlie mentioned this in his keynote yesterday. Ironically, uh, Gemini. Yeah. which is a sponsor of the Litecoin Summit. But they did announce. When was it? Is it October 13th? Oh. Yeah, they are This is an informed Litecoin. audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, well, you guys should do the news. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> the rest of the news. They already know all this stuff. We're all, yeah, we're all the so details. that's pretty there. exciting. So they actually announced that yesterday at the Litecoin Summit. Um, we had a panel with Gemini and uh, big news. You know, that's awesome for the Litecoin community. That is big news. Gemini is pretty huge. Huge! We got all the best people. We got all the, the best, best cryptos. Exchange. So people are super excited about this. Uh, there was also some talk during Charlie's keynote about Litecoin uh, futures, right? And Bitcoin futures and all that are coming. And there's actually a, a company that uh, we came across recently that we had on the show called Digitex. And uh, they are a commission free futures exchange. They have their own native currency. It's DGTX. And one of the things you'll be able to buy mm -hmm. is Litecoin. They do Ethereum uh, futures, uh, mm -hmm. Bitcoin futures, Litecoin futures, mm -hmm. and some other ones down the road. Kind of cool. So there's no fee on this? So do they, how do they That's earn money tokens. just because it's the token? Or do they also have a big spread? Like, how does that uh, work? It's something to do with the token, right? You pay with the token. That's part of the commission. No. I'm not sure. You do trades and you get, so I don't know the, the tokenomics. So the ecosystem, really, yeah. you're hoping that the, the token becomes more valuable? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. And they're going to they're gonna like create new tokens each year or something to sort of cover the fees of the exchange? So in, by inflation? Or A little bit. Sure. It's good stuff. No, Speculation. Okay. okay, some big bank news. I mean, how much do we love those big banks? How much do we love Jamie Dimon? Oh my I love God. him so much. Yeah, Jamie Dimon. I love him about as much as I love Ben Lorsky. Mm, yeah. Ben Lorsky. <laughs> who I still Wait, don't know who Coin that Daddy. Is. Who's Ben Lorsky? Coin Daddy knows Ben he Lorsky knows who now. Ben Lorsky is. You guys were here last oh, yeah. night for the quiz show with Naomi Brockwell. Coin who Daddy. Who changed her Twitter handle today? Because of these two. Because they told me, listen, Sky Corridor is like, what the hell is a Sky Corridor? She's like, world. you know, when there's a cloud and the sunshine shines through, it's, it's like a the corridor. The shaft of light. It's true. It's beautiful. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. And these guys were like, that's the worst branding. I was like, I have no life. idea. I can never tweet you because I don't remember your damn name. <laughs> And so now I'm Amy Brockwell. Was that accent any better? Uh, that was great. That was Much better than yours, Joel. Oh, yeah. Womp womp. All right. All right. So speaking of big banks, according to Bloomberg, Morgan Stanley is planning Bitcoin trading for clients. But I thought that all these banks said crypto is never going to go anywhere. And that's what happened. The uh, market didn't respond to all of the FUD, and it didn't die, and you didn't have Bitcoin die or Litecoin die or any of these things. They basically held their bottom, so now they're like, all right, we better consolidate positions and buy into this thing because it ain't mm -hmm. going anywhere. It's just in. been like an awful, like trying to, you know, basically a purge campaign. They were trying to kill crypto with all of this mainstream media ridiculousness, and it didn't work, and crypto is here to stay, and the cat's out of the bag, and you can't uninvent it as uh, Carly said yesterday. So yep. now they're buying in, and we'll see what happens. And they're creating patents, right? I mean, oh Bank of God, it drives patents, me crazy. Some of these other patents, like. You know, it's like, we wanted to get away from the big banks, and now here they all are, like, we're like, oh, please, when are the banks going to say a yes to an ETF? We need that all. Like, no, we, we want to be away from them. Yeah, what we want more in our open source technology is more mm. patents so that government comes in and yes. controls this. We want more centralization thing. in our decentralization. Mm. Mm. There, was the, there was the rumor that Goldman Sachs had dropped its plans for a Bitcoin trading desk, and they've refuted that. So apparently that is still a possibility. They refuted and the refute. They re refuted the refute. They've refuted the yes. They the original refute. It's they refuted a double it refute. They refuted it, so it's a double <laughs> refute. Yeah. Nice. They should have just feuted it. They, they wouldn't have had to done any two read. negatives as a positive. They read. Read. <laughs> <laughs> they feuded. He's off his medication today, so it's, uh, it's, Every it's, day. it's just it's just a thing. Uh, and you know, it, we love Tim Draper, don't we? Tim Draper. Very, no, very they do not <laughs> like Tim Draper. They're like, they're like, we no, like Tim Draper. Screw Tim Draper. Of no, we like he doesn't it. wear bit, he doesn't wear Litecoin ties. But he's crypto bullish. That and he's the, like the first investor in, in Tezos. Really gave that a big mm -hmm. bump. That was really exciting. Like, I mean, he's very clued into what's happening in the crypto Tell market. Tell Mr. Travis right. He doesn't know. I, like, I, know, I like Tim Draper. I think he's a nice guy. You guys are the Adam. ones that didn't like him. We heard from Adam yesterday, who uh, <laughs> you know, a big Litecoin proponent, who was one of the keynote speakers at the conference. It's, 
Seems like it. Like well, what do, you, what do you think of this? He predicts that the total crypto market cap in the next 15 years will hit 80 trillion. What do you think? What is worldwide GDP right now? Like somewhere in that vicinity? A lot. So like it's saying that crypto is going to come in and be equal to the entire output of the world. I mean, in 15 years, yes, like what we're seeing is huge amounts of production. That's obviously going to keep increasing. So maybe it will increase so much that crypto will also add to that. And I don't know. I mean, he's a smart guy. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not pulling this out of nowhere. It's, yeah. it's based on something. So when you, when you if he's right, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, well, if you factor in not only just GDP, but then all the gold, all the stocks, all the real estate, all the other assets that's out there. I mean, I've heard the number as high as $1.4 quadrillion of worldwide wealth, not just the amount of wealth per year, but overall. And so to me, I'm thinking, man, 15 years, we're going to hit $80 trillion? I think we could hit $100 trillion by 10 years. I mean, if more and more things become digital, the more assets become tokenized, right? And, um, and it's an interesting world. Like, that's Andreas Antonopoulos' vision, right? He sees this world where we're going to have thousands of, of competing currencies and, and competing ecosystems, and they're going to be interchangeable. And um, it's all going to happen under the hood. You know, we're mm -hmm. not even going to know what, what we're paying with. And that's something like that Scott Stornetta says as well. He's like, listen, we've got a future where we've learned how to decentralize trust. This is huge. So this is going to be applied not just to currency where we need to be able to decentralize trust. This is going to be applied to all kinds of industries. It's going to be applied mm -hmm. to data and, and to your health records and to land titling and to, you know, if all of this stuff is on the blockchain, then yeah, maybe we're, we're going to get to a world where, where blockchain is integrated into our lives in a way that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a guy who's cited four out of the eight times in the Satoshi Nakamoto white paper. He's, he understands blockchain technology. Preach it, girl. Amen. So it is interesting to hear his vision and to, for, you know, to, um, as opposed mm -hmm. to someone like Jimmy Song who says but blockchain is not this magic dust you can sprinkle on mm -hmm. things and, and it's, it's wonderful. Like, you know, it's, it's interesting. You have two competing visions there. We don't quite know what's going to happen yet. It's definitely a possibility. Maybe mm -hmm. Tim Draper's right. Yeah. And there was a great tweet by Philip Nunn a couple of weeks ago and he was talking about the amount of uh, crypto spend per year. So in 2014, it was around $15 million a day was traded in crypto. 2014. 2015 at 3x, then it was sitting at 42, 45 million dollars a day was traded in crypto. Then the next year it 5x to about 200 million. And then in 2017 it 10x to over 2 billion dollars a day was traded. And then another 9x this year, we're sitting at about 18 billion dollars a day is traded in crypto. So we're looking at something like this. So what is next year if you if you 3x that or 5x that, we we're, take the we're looking off. at a trillion dollars a day being well, traded. What about the people who say that this is a bubble? hundred billion you know, dollars a day, This is yeah. just going to burst and this is completely unfounded and it's going to yeah. collapse. Like, what, what do you say to that? Well, there's, there's lots of numbers <laughs> there. That's what Joel says. Joel that's, says yeah, very that's articulately what I, that's put. That's what I say. He did that. invent the iFart app. That is, his that answer is, true. is a fart. I, that's right. I actually anybody, believe that. Is that a true story? It is a I, true story. If anybody saw Jimmy Kimmel last, not, was it last night? Two, two nights, nights ago. ago. He did a thing with uh, kids and farts because kids, you know, and well, grown kids. Yes. And so he actually pulled out our app because we have a fart in the app named The Kimmel. And, and how did you get the um, the sample for that? For the, the I cannot sample. disclose that. That is, you need a high security clearance. I don't think we want to know that actually. Let's move for on. That. Last news story, probably the most important story this is of huge, all. You guys. This really is big. so big. It's going to need a big wall. It's going to be the biggest wall of all. Yes. You can put your crypto kitties in it. The one millionth crypto kitty has been released. Yeah. I. <laughs> uh, it takes humans nine months to make a baby, but in the same time, people made a million crypto kitties, and they celebrated the milestone with the millionth kitty Volcat. And if you go to their page, you can see this oh, guy. Oh, we will just show oh, you, we'll right, show you right, here right here because we're so good at showing things. Turning laptops around, there he is. There's, mm, there's um, Volcat. Volcat, yeah. <laughs> uh, just, Somebody bought a bought a crypto kitty not long ago for one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Like what? Who? What? They should have invested that sense. money in the iPod in, app. In Litecoin. In Badcoin. Mm. In Not bad in Badcoin. They should have bought, no. no. bought Badcoin. Good stuff. Well, thanks to Bitcoin Girl for joining us for our new thanks segment today. Me. She rocks. All right, uh, Aaron, quick music bump there. Charlie, come on down, everybody. Where's Charlie? They Charlie. Give it up. Charlie. He has hats. Oh, Charlie Lee has hats. 
My, my naked head wants one of those hats, Charlie. That is for you. Get, test that right so, there. Uh, he's hello? on number five. Hello, hello. Okay. Brought some gift. Not, yeah. for, not for you. Okay. Oh. It's for the audience. Oh. What the hell's our gift? I'm your gift. <laughs> oh, Charlie needs our gift. He's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. My dream has always been wanting to throw stuff at the audience. So here we go. I'm going to throw out 10 of these hats. Actually, let me talk about All at once. <laughs> yeah. So these are Phoenix Den hats. If you don't get one right now, you can go and buy one from the Lycon Foundation booth. Um, who's heard of Dragon's Den? So last year, there was this huge thing about Dragon's Den, which is like a group of secret Bitcoin supporters getting together in a Slack channel to talk about how to protect Bitcoin from Bcashers and Segway 2Xers and stuff. Um, so made a joke that Litecoin, we have a Phoenix Den, which is a bunch of us. Some of them are in this audience. That's part of the secret Litecoin group that's here to protect Litecoin from Litecoin cash people, maybe? <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. There's one. There's a Litecoin cash person. Um, so we... Samson Mao created the Dragon's Den hat. I asked him to create a Phoenix Den hat, and he created one which looks awesome. Has a little Litecoin logo here. I don't know if you can see. So it's cool. So I'm going to give away 10 of them. So people who are in the front. Are don't hurt each other. Are these yeah, the, don't hurt each other. Are these the okay. all-time hats? Yeah. Very good. Throw them out. Fling. Woo! Fling. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Oh, that was good. Oh, look, look how they open up nicely. Whoa. Look at that. Ken Bosak wants one. Give one to Ken Bosak. Ken Bosak don't get one. No, for Ken Bosak. Oh. Oh, it didn't come your way, Ken Bosak. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, brother. That was pretty cool. That was good. That was <laughs> nicely done. That was all right. So, uh, Aaron, you can uh, cut all that because that doesn't make for good podcasting. But we'll get into here to the next segment. And here we go. In three, two. And now we are pleased to welcome back to the Bad Crypto Podcast for the second time. Yes. The second time. It was episode number 56, I believe. Mm. Uh, Charlie Lee, former Google employee and the founder of Litecoin. Give it up for him. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Again. Again. Like, yes. you, you came back. That says something. Either you really enjoyed it the first time or you're just desperate for attention. Probably the latter. The latter. <laughs> Last time we did the interview, I believe you were wearing a Yankees hat. Red Sox, maybe? <laughs> oh, snap. I do remember it was Red Sox. I wanted to throw a little Yankee joke. Well, you're, All right. you're, uh, your impressions of this first attempt at the Litecoin community and the foundation to put on this event. Yeah. My impression? Yeah. It, it went you do awesome. impressions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was awesome. Uh, considering the bear market, it was actually uh, quite hard to get a big audience for, for a summit, especially like a, a coin like Litecoin, right? It's a much smaller community. But the turnout was amazing, and the speakers were amazing, and I'm just I'm really proud of everyone. Mm. Yeah, I want to ask you about that because you, there was an article on Cointelegraph, I don't know, about a week ago we covered it, where you were talking about that the crypto bear markets are a good time to get stuff done, right? And so maybe, maybe talk a little bit about that. What, what does that mean? Because, you know, the bear markets for everybody else is a time to cry. <laughs> um, I've just noticed over the years that um, when there's a bull market, when price is going crazy, um, people get so focused on the price and they, like when I was at Coinbase, when there's a bull market, no one gets any work done. They're just mm. like um, <laughs> talking about the price, talking about mm. stuff and not working. But when there's a bear market, um, people get used to the bear market and um, the price is low. It's okay. We just... Uh, it's not okay. It's Joel, not okay. Mr. Joel Kahn doesn't even look at his blog folio. He's like, I don't want to hear about it. Don't tell me about it. But we have to do the news once a week so that I have to look and see. Well, it's because you bought all these shit coins. That may or may not be true. <laughs> Ow, Charlie. That was good. I almost said, no, I sold all my Litecoin. Shut oh. <laughs> oh. That's, that's what you get. <laughs> So it's a good time to get things done. Uh, you know, for those that uh, weren't at the keynote and those that are listening to the podcast at home who missed the keynote, you went over a number of key metrics to illustrate the growth of Litecoin over the past four or five years. Can you kind of just bullet point those really quickly? 
uh, you know, from four years ago to today. Do you actually think I will remember my slides with Falcon uh, Sports? Just fake it. <laughs> um, so I think over the, over the last four years, like Litecoin has grown a lot. Uh, I think the key important stuff is like hash rate. The hash rate has grown like, I don't remember, like 250 times mm. since four years ago. Oh, thanks for my slides. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm here um, for you. Those are your slides. <laughs> yeah. He's like looking for his other slides. He's like, wow. Oh, that, oh, yeah. I like these pictures. Oh, really nice <laughs> hey, don't show those. Don't show those. That's his girl. That's his girl there. <laughs> there there's your stats right there. There you go. Um, yeah, so um, in exchanges, we've had a lot of new exchanges. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you were saying, um, every single exchange supports Litecoin pretty much, except for one key one, which is which they're going to launch. Gemini will launch Litecoin trading. What's up with that Winkle guy? Come on. Yeah, they're slow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really like excited that, I mean, it's important to be able to get in and out of uh, Litecoin for fiat. A lot of coins have this problem where exchanges these days are charging a lot of money to get listed. And um, unless you're like an ICO that raised a lot of money, you actually don't have money to bribe these exchanges. Yeah, what, do you, what do you think of that? I mean, I think with that word, using that word, you kind of just indicated, but elaborate on that, paying these exorbitant fees to be on an exchange? Um, I think it, it's kind of bad. It becomes more of a kind of like a pump and dump where you bribe, so to speak, these exchanges, they list it, and then your price goes up. So um, it's not a good environment where you have to do that to list your coin. Um, but then that's the only way to, it makes sense money-wise for the exchanges to do that because it's another source of revenue. And um, so thankfully for Litecoin, since we've been around for so long, these exchanges have listed Litecoin without having receiving any money. So I'm proud to say I've never bribed any exchange to list Litecoin. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sucks to be in, in to be in this environment. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about so that we had uh, we we shot out some tweets and the Litecoin Foundation shot out some tweets to get some questions from the community. One of the questions was from W S H E A P We Sheep. I uh, wants to know what is the future Litecoin Bitcoin differentiation plan, right? So with Lightning Network happening on Bitcoin and block size and some of these other things, like how are are Bitcoin and Litecoin going to be different moving forward? Aside from the amount of them and etc. Yeah, I think Litecoin is, I've always seen it as a complement to Bitcoin. So I see it as um, a cheaper, quicker, faster alternative to Bitcoin. And I think even with like the Lightning Network, um, Litecoin will still be the uh, faster, cheaper on-ramp to the Lightning Network. Once you get onto the Lightning Network, you can easily convert between Litecoin and Bitcoin to act just as well. Um, but you need on-chain transactions to get onto the Lightning Network, and Litecoin will still be the cheaper one, um, cheaper and faster one. And also, um, potentially, I see, so Lightning Network fees will still depend on the, the fees for the base chain because it's all relative. Um, so maybe Litecoin will become more of a microtransaction on Lightning Network, and Bitcoin would be more than that. Um, we don't know right now, but we'll see how that develops. And in terms of other differentiating factors, I think Litecoin can always, can still act faster um, in terms of getting controversial changes in and help Bitcoin out in that, in that aspect. So for example, last year, Litecoin was able to get SegWit activated first and help clear a lot of the FUD around SegWit for Bitcoin. And I think we can still do that in future, for future uh, more controversial upgrades. Mm -hmm. So another question that was submitted by uh, somebody from the community is, when will the holy grail of crypto happen that Amazon will start accepting Litecoin for purchases? We'd like the exact date. Yeah. Timestamp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. Oh, that's a safe. <laughs> that, that's years. about it. No, I mean, who knows, right? I think... Um, I think by the time when they actually do accept it, it would be people. It wouldn't be a surprise to people. Like, it would be like, what took you so long, mm. right? It would be like everyone else is already doing it. What took you so long? So, um, but that that might take a while, right? So, I don't see Daddy that happening Bezos anytime soon. <laughs> I don't see that happening anytime soon. Mm. Um, but we, you never know. Mm. 
So, yeah, so there's a couple other questions here that we wanted to know around, you know, right now, what would you say, what's wrong with the crypto space right now? What are some of the things that just kind of irk you? Besides being asked about that all-time high selling thing. <laughs> <laughs> Take four, Charlie Lee walks out again. <laughs> um, I think ICOs are bad for the crypto space. All ICOs? I mean, we lump in. A lot, most of the ICOs. Yeah. So, I think um, just in general, IC, a lot of them are scams. They're outright scams. A lot of them are, if not, they're, if not outright scams, they're set up to fail because of the incentive structures of ICOs where you get all the money already and there's no incentive to actually finish the product. And so, like, they have white papers that promise the world and they're not going to be able to deliver because they're trying to achieve the impossible and they already got the money. So I would say 90 plus percent is just really bad and people are going to lose a lot of money. And I think that's also why like, we have regulation in place where you need to be an accredited investor. You need to have like a million dollars or you need to be earning uh, $250,000 before you can actually invest in, in startups, right? Invest in VC, be a VC investment funds because people are easily misled. And once you have like white papers that are really technical, has a lot of technical jargon and uh, really um, people who are really good at selling their product, it's easy to mislead investors to put money into the product that actually won't, into an ICO that actually won't succeed. Um, and I think that's just bad, right? A lot of people are being misled. And right now, like a lot of, most ICOs are down like 90 plus percent and everyone's getting hurt. So. <laughs> but what, what if ICOs were to do sort of a staged you know, raise. Because it's almost like once you hit a milestone, then you can unlock to that next phase, right? So then it's then it's like their action because you're right, you like Tezos, they just got two hundred million dollars and what's their incentive to start kicking ass, right? And then it's just like I got two hundred million dollars now. Uh I'm gonna go to Cayman Islands and chill for a month. Like there's no incentive to actually build and hustle. The hustle mode is gone, right? So maybe if it's a staged ICO where you hit milestones, is like how could it be fixed? Fix it, Charlie. Fix it. Come on, Charlie. It's it's kind of hard to fix, right? So I think regulation could help a bit. I think regulation in this area is actually good. To pr it's for it's for protection of of consumers and investors. Um, but then, like, I I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> that, that's my favorite answer. It's like you know, the older you get, the less you you realize that you actually know, and then it's okay to say beats me, right. ask somebody else. Well, let's finish on a positive note then. What do you think is right with the crypto space? What really excites you? Uh, what trends do you see that pump you up? Um, this Litecoin Summit is what's right about crypto. You guys are what's right about crypto. <laughs> and I'm being honest here, I think like, um, People who actually come to a Litecoin Summit, they're like, wow, this is actually different from all these other Bitcoin conferences they go to. Because right? it's Litecoin. <laughs> that too. It's um, four times faster. <laughs> it's the right coin. Um, Did you say it's the right coin? Yeah, Litecoin oh, is Litecoin the right coin. Litecoin is the right, right coin, coin, yo. Oh, the Travis Wright coin. <laughs> you want to uh, sing it? Uh, the right coin, Travis Wright coin. Uh. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like Kim Bosek rap. He'll, he'll bust it. Where's Coin Daddy sitting down there? He'll, he'll bust out a rhyme. Good deal. What, what was I saying? Well, yeah, so um, the, the difference between the Bitcoin, Bitcoin conferences, so I've been to quite a few Bitcoin conferences. Um, when I go to Bitcoin conferences or blockchain conferences, you just meet all these people trying to pitch you their next ICO, right? It's all about raising money with some dumb idea. Um, they're not really excited about um, Bitcoin, Litecoin. They're not excited about money, right? About changing the future of money. And people actually who come to the Litecoin conference are different because they actually believe in the vision of uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin being sound money and being uh, fighting fiat and replacing fiat as real world money. Um, and I think that's what makes a big difference. And I'm really excited that there are people that aren't just here for, for money. Actually, that sounds stupid. Um, <laughs> We're not yeah. editing it though. We're yeah, leaving that. Yeah, good. they're not here to. Um, it's not about investment and speculation. It's more about changing the world. They're here for sound money. Correct. Mm. Right. I heard you use that term multiple times. In your Hard cleanup. and sound money. That's good. I, I was just here to pitch you my super uh, Litecoin diamond <laughs> project we're working on. 
Joel and I are. Yeah. <laughs> bad, bad Litecoin, we're going to call it. Is it the real Litecoin? It is. Yeah, it's the real no, Litecoin. No, it's the real fake one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Right on. It's good. Charlie Lee, give it up for him. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you, good sir. Excellent. You are dismissed, Mr. Lee. All right, um, we'll do a, Aaron, you do a quick uh, bumper transition right there. And uh, Raul, why don't you come on up here? We're going to do a segment with you next. And let me find this right here. Give it up for Raul. Raul! <clears throat> and you don't do this typically before. This is not official yet here. So, you know, he was, he was a little like, oh, being on stage. But tell him we're all with him. Give him a big round of applause. Right. Go, Woo! All with you, right? All friendly Except audience. those people okay. that are leaving. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, it's Great guys. for your support, you guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they got a plane to catch. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, segment for Open Block in three, two. Ms. Travis Wright, day trading can be tricky. I, I That's why you hodl. That's why I hodl and hodl. And fodl and foddle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, you know, it's it's stressful for me to day trade, but for a lot of people, it's risky, but it's also highly profitable. And uh, we've had the the CEO from this company on the show before. And we're really thrilled that they sponsored our appearance here at the Litecoin Summit. We have with us Raul Jimenez, the technical lead for OpenBlock, OpenBlock.co, and uh, these guys have developed an AI-driven bot tra day trading technology. And uh, welcome, Raul. Thank you. Thank you, Joel and Travis, for having me on the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why don't you go ahead and share with us what is OpenBlock? So, like Joel said, OpenBlock is a AI trading bot that will work across multiple exchanges, trading up to already 30 key pairs um, and it really is an exciting technology. Uh, right now, um, there is a coin called. So, did I lose it? Yep, Sorry. Good. There's a coin. It's OBC is going to be the symbol, and it's going to be used to um, basically track. Uh, um, not track. I mean, the profits that are made by the bot are going to be distributed via the coin. So all you really have to do is hodl the coin, and on a daily basis, you'll get a payout from the bot. Is this a Russian bot? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Is this hack elections? <laughs> no? I, you know, a, a lot of people, when they're trading, make all kinds of mistakes. I mean, humans, we're just, we're just fraught with error. So, like, what are some of the, the common like I never things? do a stop loss at the right time. Like, right. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times has that bit me in the ass, Mr. Joel? I don't know how many so times. So many times. <laughs> I haven't counted. 17. The bites in your ass. I don't know. I, Lots I don't, of I don't want to know. What, what are some other, you know, mistakes that, that we as humans tend to make when we're trading? So that's the really great thing about the bot is it has a lot of built-in AI functionality that helps avoid some of those common mistakes that humans make when they're trading and making decisions. When you, how many here has ever traded cryptocurrency? Raise your hands. And wow. every hand most should the, go up, yeah. Most of the room. And, and the, the rest How many have tired. gotten emotional about it? <laughs> Including myself. Right. How many people cry about this trade? It's like, oh. How many people have been yelled at by How their significant <laughs> other? Yeah. Why are you buying this? Seven How again? many people wish they would have sold in January? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like, I did sell in January. Oh, Sucker. Look at him. What a smug guy. Come master. at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's primarily the, the main issue is that we get in our own way sometimes. We, we come into it with a good idea with a good philosophy and then we start getting emotional and then we pull away from it a little bit and we say well I thought that then but this is what I think now and now I'm going to try this and then we make mistakes right on so how does how does the platform work right from a technical aspect because there's a lot of technical people here so maybe give us an idea of how the platform works and maybe how far along your technology is today so it's still um, under development. Uh, we actually plan on having the bot live streamed because I think uh, it's really important, especially nowadays, uh, all these ICOs coming out um, and scamming p investors uh, to be fully transparent. So one of the th functionalities is we're going to have 
the bot activity live, live stream 24 seven for anybody to see. Oh, that's, nice. that's cool. Transparency is so important um, in, in this industry because you don't know, you know, as Charlie mentioned in the previous interview, there's a lot of shady dealings going on right there. And the more we can be in blockchain is this transparent ledger, right? Everybody should be able to look, but to show people what the trades are actually doing at that moment is super transparent. Another technical feature of the bot is um, any given trader um, can use maybe two or three indicators to help make decisions on trading. The bot's able to use all indicators. So it makes a lot smarter investments um, and the, it, that minimizes mistakes. Right on. Great stuff. Any other thing you'd like to tell the audience about uh, your project before we wrap up? Um, not particularly, uh, unless if somebody has a question. Yeah, are there any questions about it? If so, feel free to raise your hand. We'll, we'll do a quick well, edit Well, it is an ICO. I just okay. wanted to add. Um, I, I do see a question over there. I'm going to get to you. Why don't you come on up. Where's it? The ICO is actually going to be next month, and it will be available for pre-sale two weeks from now. That was very nimble, sir. Yeah, and we have, a, we have a question from the audience. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so I have uh, familiarity with algorithmic trading strategies of all stripes, and I'm curious uh, what kind of strategies are in this uh, portfolio, directional bets, spread trades, arbitrage, uh, time value. Like, how do, you, how do you manage the whole strategy, basically? What's, or do you use sentiment analysis? Uh, tell us more about that. Itchy, well, itchy it, buddy. It, 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 Thanks, man. <laughs> right on. Can you can you He's got a root be stock just as nimble as you go down? I'm very curious. Nice, that's very that's nice. great. Okay. Give it up for that guy. That guy. The guy who sold in January. The yeah. smug guy is all like, ah. Uh. Drinks are on him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very good question, and I appreciate it. Um, I think it's important to understand what the vision is for Open Block, and I and I think the vision is. Um, out in the future to, for OpenBlock to be a market maker for all cryptocurrency um, and also to be uh, trading across multiple exchanges that don't try to scam people, right? <laughs> um, but as far as the technical, um, I do have a list here of some of the indicators that it uses. Um, uh, simple moving average, um, average directional index, um, as well as MACD, MFI, RSI, MACD. Oh. Inverse Fisher Transform on RSI, which I don't know what that is personally. Uh, Stochastic Oscillator. So there's quite a few. Um, and that's not it. it. It definitely uses a lot more. And it is that. also AI, so it will be learning as it goes. Correct? I don't know. This is Trapbot it, 3000. <laughs> Does not compute. Fantastic. The website, openblock.co. Raul Jimenez. Thanks so much, brother. Thanks, guys. Thank you, brother. Rock on. See that? All right. Well, All right. We'll have a quick edit there. Now let's get everybody that's going to be in the crypto pitch. We're going to line you up. Um, I guess crypto right, bitches. Right here. Crypto bitches for the crypto pitches. Uh. <laughs> All right. So let's just. Uh, you guys know your numbers. So just self or self regulate here. Blockchain yourselves. Uh, we can remove that chair. This other one. Oh, we're good. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, everybody in their, their order. <clears throat> order in the court. <laughs> Neither one of them worked. <laughs> they turn them off. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe, go, Joe. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, I'm going to start the segment here. We go crypto right. pitch in tres, a tos, and a unos. And now it is time for the crypto pitch. <laughs> yeah. That's right, contestants. It's time for the Crypto Pitch, where we have 10 contestants lined up here at the Litecoin Summit. That's like a really hokey game show voice. That is a very and, that's your uh, normal voice. They're working on various projects in the crypto space. Could be an ICO, could be an existing token, could be any other ancillary project. And they will have 30 seconds 
with which to deliver their elevator speech. We to literally our, don't know their projects. No, we they don't. Tell us to their live to the live audience and to those of you listening out there in the republic. This could be ten shit coins, folks. This could be <laughs> it, really exciting. It could be. Uh, those listening in the Republic of Bad Cryptopia, Mr. Travis Wright shall act as the timer. Yes. And uh, here's how it's going to work. When you come up, say your name, who you're with. Say your name, say your name. And then say the who clock. who you are with. Then you got 30 seconds. Sorry. And at the end of 30 <laughs> seconds, you will hear. <laughs> just like Pretty that. Pretty much. Or. Did it, did it, did it. Yeah. Some, some the, sound indicating that your time is up. Or Joel, I must... fart? Am I doing I fart? <laughs> You do it. You make whatever okay, sound you want. I'll make whatever sound I want. Did you have beans? googly googly googly? Did you have beans for lunch? I did, did not. You? I did not. Okay. No, no genuine sounds. So everybody understand the rules? Very great. Come on up, contestant number one. Up the very convenient stairs. That yep. Was so friendly. There you go. You. All right. In your name and who you're with, talk talk. When you guys use the mic, talk deeply into it. Make love Should to I the start mic. Now? Your name and your and who you're with. I'm Michael. I'm the founder and CEO. Hello, hello. I'm the founder and CEO of Kubix. And come Okay. And, and he, action. Coming from banking security company, we serve over 50 banks in over 30 countries and bringing that same experience into crypto industry. So, we've built the world's most advanced hardware wallet that works on both your iOS and Android devices. We've sold over 100,000 units. We've made uh, profitable since last year and got over uh, eight digit US dollars investment from Bitmain and SBI Holdings. And uh, our core wallet, S, is a credit card size. Um, <laughs> Time is All over. All right, we give Good job. Cool wall S. Give him a hand. Give it up for a cool, the cool bit wallet. What is it? Cool bit. Cool breeze. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Cool wallet, wallet S. S. Come on up here, friend. And if anybody needs a, a hand coming up, then just let us know. We don't want anybody to fall and hurt themselves. And you are. Uh oh. I'm, He's I'm, with L Cash. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm Is I'm Ilya from um, Litecoin Cash. All right, are we ready? Oh, wait, before can I uh, make a comment? Because obviously I need to respond. We're taking your time away, are No, nope, you do not get to comment. Ready? Okay, fine. Go. So, so Litecoin Cash is the first fork of Litecoin. Uh, we are proud advocates of Litecoin. We are not going to take the position that Bitcoin Cash has done um, because we feel as if they are manipulating the market. And we are going to be the next big thing that's going to shake the market. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, we are an open source, peer-to-peer uh, network. Um, we are also the cheapest, most profitable mine coined in SHA-256. We're also coming up with a revolutionary mining system. Uh, open mining to everyone. All right. Hey, give him a round of applause for Curran. Coming on up here. Good. Yeah, well done. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So, yeah, so I didn't that was know fun that. buzzing the Litecoin Cash. Like, Get out of here, L-Cash. I... Uh. I I didn't know that, though. You know, <laughs> just because it's named Litecoin, they're seeking to compete with Bcash. Bcash, that's good. So it's not Bcash. It's not. It is. Don't flip uh, me off, Robert. Oh, you Beers. again? Yes. The the guy this who guy sold. Again. This the guy, guy who sold at the the high in January. All right. Your name? My name is Patrick Dugan, and I'm representing Trade Layer. So uh, represent. Represent. You probably heard of Tether. Billions of dollars, millions a day in fees. I am the guy responsible for delivering OmniLayer, the tech that that was built on. I didn't found the project, but I took it over when the ICO governance was terrible. Uh, we're doing decentralized tether with peer-to-peer -peer derivatives. We invented a new algorithm and graph theory to make it possible. We're going to publish that uh, paper soon. We're about to launch a testnet at TradeLayer. We need community. We're launching on Litecoin. I like Litecoin. Big blocks, but not too big. Uh, right, moderation. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. He likes big blocks and he cannot lie. <laughs> Them other brothers can't deny. Good job. Thanks, Them brother. many, many blocks. Good to see oh. you. All right, come on up here. Contestant number four, step into the limelight. Your name and who you're with? Yeah, I'm Locke. I'm with Mass Blockchain, all the way from Vancouver, Canada. Mass oh, Blockchain. Oh, came from, from Canada, eh? Yes. All right, eh? Oh, good to right. see you. It's your time now. Okay, don't time be a go, hoser. Hey. Go. Here we go. Yeah, you know, uh, like uh, we, uh, Vancouver are located in British Columbia. Right now, we are working to try to build Vancouver as a hub for the next generation of blockchain computation. So uh, Canada is cool. We got cheap power and it's hydro, so it's clean. So if you guys uh, want to invest in mining, uh, our next generation data center, come and talk to us. Mass blockchain. Mass blockchain. Well done. Very nice. Well done. Good job.
He had three. He had three seconds left. He Nicely had three done. Three seconds. You could that have raised so a zillion more in those three seconds. You use those extra three uh, seconds. Do you want me to hold that for you so that you Certainly. can speak into the mic? Okay, you're uh, speaking to the mic. Your name and who you're with. My name is Paul Lambert. I'm with iozeta.com. iozeta.com. All right, here we go. Here we go. Three go and for two it, and one. Action. And uh, um, my brother and I were both have engineering backgrounds and business background, and we were thinking about ways, you know, we've been, he, he introduced me into cryptocurrencies, and I thought, you know, hey, we need to have, we were brainstorming as far as ways to introduce our friends and our families to cryptocurrencies, and so we put our heads together, and we came up with the world's first crypto candy machine dispenser that accepts cryptocurrency. And so it's great for Litecoin, and we really, really love Litecoin because the, 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 they're about payments. Oh, oh time. time is up. There's your time. Oh, well, oh, thank you. really, really oh. loves Litecoin. I-O-Z-E-T-A I -O -Z -E -T -A dot com. Yeah, and I just want to say, I think this is super badass. Awesome. I really like this, so cool. Thank you. I'll just take, no, I won't. Go ahead. Thanks. No, you're good, man. What he was Appreciate talking about it. is he really loves the spree. Yeah. It's good Sprees choice. Awesome. Candy. Come on down. So how you doing, sir? Good, good, good. Excellent. Come on, step on up. Tell us who you are and who you're with. Hey, I'm Joseph Harrell with Cage Chain. Excellent. Cage what? Chain? Cage, cage Chain. chain. Cage Chain. That's like right. Cage Match. <laughs> no. It's a wrestling coin. Well, the cage part about... Uh, All right. right. We'll, we'll, we'll let you get started. All right. Three, two, one, go. Hey, okay. Well, we're not a blockchain or a token. We're a service business for the blockchain industry. So uh, our uh, uh, dealings have gone as much as being invited to Sacramento. So if there's anybody out here that would like to uh, deal with a blockchain service business to enhance your business or educate the individuals that are part of your um, community, we are here to partner with you. Reach out to me. Oh. Reach out. Wow, nicely done. Well done. Good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on down. Our next contestant with the Miggity, miggity Miner. Miggity, 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 Hello, I am also Miggity Miner on YouTube. Miggity Miner. Do Very it. Nice. All right, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my two sponsors who provided the ability for me to come out and present to you all. Crypto Hopper Automated Trading Bot is a fantastic bot, web-based bot you should check out. And also to Crypto Rusty, who has taken a huge step in mass adoption. He invested in three NASCARs that are advertising for cryptocurrencies. So if you have a project you would like to get on a NASCAR in the Monster Energy series, he is doing those cars and he's willing to talk to you. He is accepting crypto as payments. CryptoRusty.com. Crypto now there it is. <laughs> Here's a, dude, here's a guy on YouTube comes and like, I want to tell you about my two sponsors. <laughs> I got some sponsors up in here. That's oh. great. Yo, yo, what's going on, brother? Come How good is uh -oh, it? Uh-oh, we tell, know this guy. Tell everybody who you are right, and, so and what you're wearing. No. In the words of Mike Selby. What the hell are you wearing? Uh, I just wanted to let you all know I have my own <laughs> shit coin. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. All right, so I just wanted to pitch you guys my birthday party. Uh, it's going to be in Las Vegas on Halloween. Uh, World Crypto Con is the Woo! conference. So uh, I want to reach out and have all you guys come to Vegas on Halloween to celebrate the birth of Bitcoin's white paper and me. Uh, it's going to be at the Aria Casino. We're going to have Steve Aoki. He's going to be the DJ at my birthday party. Yeah. We have Club uh, Berlagio, or the Berlagio Casino with Club Hyde. They accept cryptocurrencies for bottle services. And then we have the Crazy Horse Strip Club and Pizzo's Dispensary that accepts hey. crypto for cannabis. Have a day. Right. <laughs> Ken Bostack. You never yeah. know what you're going to get with Ken Bostack. Ken. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Travis Wright and I are the MCs at World Crypticon. Of course, our listeners are aware that we give away, World Crypticon gives away two tickets each week. If you'll subscribe to our newsletter at badco.in forward slash WCC, you can enter to win. And uh, we're going to be dressing up for Cryptoween. We're going to be playing at the crypto table. We're actually table. the MC host of the thing, so we're going to be Wait. cracking jokes and having fun. There you go. For the Cryptoween right. party. Is that your birthday is on Halloween? It, it's, is that why birthday. you dress like that? Every day's his birthday. birthday. All right. <laughs> and you are. Love you, Mr. Kim Bosak. All right. Uh, I am Ben from the BTC Sessions on YouTube. Excellent. Ben. All right, Ben, let it rip. Uh. Okay, I am not selling you anything. I'm giving away stuff for free in that I try to give my knowledge away for free. I've been in crypto for a Four or five years now, I've had a channel for two and a half years, and I just try to break things down in a simple way. I have never shilled an ICO, I never will, and I am never promoted uh, by anybody I do things I'm interested in. So check me out on YouTube, BTC Sessions. Oh. 
Those are badass. And so are you. Thank Very you, sir. Nice. Come on PTC down. Sessions. Very nice. How you doing? Chilling. Excellent. Your name and who you're with. Like a village. I am Adam from Busto. I brought all the great YouTubers here. We ran yeah. three panels. BTC session, crypto love, Mickey and Miner, Ken Bosa, and Coin is in the house somewhere. Coin Daddy. What Boosto is, it, we just build apps for influencers so they can play around with and have a great time. And I just want to let you guys know that you guys are awesome. And I'm glad you came out here for this. And yeah, you're helping us all out. Right on. Handshake. Thank you. Right Thank on. you, sir. Give him a hand. Bad Crypto Podcast. Woo. <laughs> Nicely done. Very good. Very good. Oh, well, okay. L ladies first. Okay. And, well, why are you uh, over there? Come, come on over. I don't know what she took the stairs. She, the stairs. Oh. she didn't want to. There we go. Gotcha. Fall. All right. Take the mic. Tell us your name and who you're with first. Talk into it, please. Oh, I can thank the the people who sent me here. That was awesome. Okay. They paid for the so entire trip for right. me to come here. So, all right. Your name. My name. I don't know. I'm misinformation. Okay. That's I, cool. I don't know shit. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Here we go. All go. right. Um, I'm. Uh, I got this idea called um, empathy chip. A lot of people have empathy, they're pointing fingers saying, you don't have empathy as they're the one not turning off the water. So it's all about creating energy. And we have a baby here and it's, it's, it's brand new. It's, it's learning. So it doesn't understand love, does it? <laughs> a lot of narcissists don't either. But they're perfect, aren't they? And um, this perfect little thing that we're creating, if we don't baby it, it will grow up to be a big... Oh, well, your time is up, but his is not. Oh, it's a snowball. It's, we, we have to be silly. We have to be silly, because the one thing it'll understand is being silly. You weren't allowed to throw the ball. How dare you? You weren't allowed. How very dare the you, ball sir? Was How very dare you guys not catch it? Silly ball. <laughs> Give me back the silly will you, will you? Would you throw it to me, please? Thank there you. We go. I caught the left. All right, all right. Okay, you, we have to take Very the mic good. Is now. there a URL Give, or something? Yeah, is, no? there, is there a website? Uh, empathy chip at Google. Dot somewhere. Okay, empathy all right, chip give her a hand. The Google. All right, hey, very how nice. You doing? Excellent. There you go, my friend. Cheers. And you are? Hi, my name's Paul Seals. I'm from Brisbane, Australia. Ah, good yeah. day, man. Paul from Brisbane. Good day. All right, all right let's Paul do Brisbane. this. Three, yeah. One action. Okay, so we're from uh, CryptoMasterminds.org, which is a not-for-profit educational body to educate people about cryptocurrency. Oh. So there's a few Australians come over all the way from Australia to, to, to visit the Litecoin conference. And uh, just wanted to say thank you for the fantastic hospitality that everyone's shown us. Thank you. And uh, also, we've got a conference coming up in Australia this the end of April 2019 called Block Conscious, where we're bringing together consciousness and well-being speakers together with cryptocurrency and blockchain. So right. please come down and All visit right. us in Australia. Website. Awesome. That's CryptoMasterminds.org. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Hey, we're, you know, both uh, Mr. Travis Wright and I are conscious, and maybe we should go to, uh, oh. to Australia. How about a big hand for everybody who participated in the crypto pitch? All right. Next up is right. it. Hey, hang on. Yeah, Let's, yeah. Uh, so do a quick edit there, Aaron. We're going to get into our last segment. You guys are in for a treat. And then Mr. Travis Wright is going to. The Travis Wright is going, going to the airport. To dash and just, uh, you've got a couple minutes. Let's you got go. a couple okay. minutes. All right. Uh, here we go, Aaron. Three, two. And now I want to welcome a, a group of people to the stage for a real special announcement from the Litecoin community. So if we can have Diana Kelly with Blockchain Beach, Charlie Lee, Lawrence Freiberg, David Schwartz, Naomi Brockwell, John Kim, and John Moore, come on down. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Bad Crypto. And uh, Diane, yep, easy going there. Very nice to meet you. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to hand you this, and if you'll just talk into it. I need a hand. Um, We're good. You guys all good? There we go. Thank you so Breaking much. Breaking news. Go for it. Breaking news. We are here to address the needs of the indigenous people of the world. And in our host city of San Francisco was the host of the Global Climate Action Summit this week with our host, Governor Jerry Brown, Al Gore, Jean-Michel Cousteau, and many celebrities, political experts from around the world, 54 countries. We are honored to be invited by Charlie Lee. Thank you, Charlie, for being here for the inaugural Litecoin Global Summit. Can we give a hand right now? Amazing. Thank you for uh, making history today. And to announce 
a global humanitarian concert for the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG, of the United Nation, which is the UN 17 SDG, and with the support of the Litecoin global community. Climate restoration, gender equality, ending poverty, just to name a few of the many issues that we want to address. To formally celebrate this announcement today, we have invited individuals from the Litecoin community and the overall crypto blockchain community of who you all are. Thank you. To sign this poster today, symbolizing the collaboration of one earth, one people, and the Litecoin community. The individuals to sign today are Lawrence Freiberg, co-founder, One Earth, One People, and those on that team that were not able to attend, Max Osceola, former chief of the Seminole Nation who acquired Hard Rock International, Lee Tiger from the Miccosukee Tribes, Nassif Zaid, CFO of the USA Blockchain, representing David Cam, chairman of the USA Blockchain, who is not able to attend, but we know is watching from his living room via streaming as we speak. Charlie Lee, creator of Litecoin. John Monroe, VP Nationwide Merchant Solutions. <laughs> Sorry about that. David Schwartz, uh, the guy that's just been hanging around all week tirelessly organizing the Litecoin Global <laughs> Summit. <laughs> of course, from Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> John Kim, our beloved Litecoin evangelist. Are you here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Come out behind the curtain. Naomi Brockwell for her outstanding crypto influencer and educator that we all love. <laughs> and a producer for Stossel Productions. And then, of course, Travis Wright and Joel Kahn. Let's give them a hand again. A bad crypto podcast with hundreds and thousands of people watching right now. And signing this poster symbolizing this unified, synergized collaboration. Thank you so much. All right. Signing the poster. Come on down, Lawrence. Here, would you like to say something as you're uh, addressing your signature? There we go. There we go. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to give a shout out to Butch Stone, wasn't mentioned. I wanted to, he's my co-promoter, and he's bringing in lots and lots of, of people you would certainly know, very, very big stars from the entertainment industry. Uh, we have cities all over the world, and this is what this represents, actually, is the SDGs, as listed here from the United Nations, and we're assigning different cities, as you can see. That's you, Butch, <laughs> Little Rock and all kinds of things are going to go on on that stage. And uh, so thank you. Yeah. Is Elvis going to be there? Is he coming back? <laughs> of course. Excellent. I was with Concerts West. We started out with, with Elvis Presley and did all Led Zeppelin tours and blah, yeah, blah, blah. This guy's blah. like big time music promoter. <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and let's sign this thing here. And um, It's kind of like Band-Aid from back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah. Live Aid. Live Aid. And Band-Aid. And Band-Aid. And, and yeah. uh, Farm Aid. Farm all the AIDS. Uh, so we're going to do this. Obviously, this, this won't make for audio podcasting. This is a, something special for you guys. So come on, step in. Everybody who's signing it, grab the pen. I've been slimed. And perfect. Very nice. We'll Very sign nice. that. And then we're going to, while everybody's signing this, um, I wanna, we're going to wrap the show. Who knows how we finish the show? Stay bad. That's right. Nice. Okay. So what, we're, what we'll do is I'll do a, um, a wrap here. And when I signal you guys, everybody's going to yell, stay bad. Let's try it here. One, two, three. Stay bad. That's really good. That was good. He's, here you go. 
Ah. That was and, a nice trip. Yeah, we had also if you come on up after, we have a bunch. I've got we got plenty of that was a crypto weak stickers one. if anybody wants them. All right. Kimbo Zach. Let oh. me do I'm gonna do the wrap. Oh. Ready? Oh yeah. Miss Travis Wright, this has been great time. This has been yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks to Light Charlie Lee. Foundation, Thanks to Rule from Open Block. Thanks to everybody who did their crypto pitches. Please subscribe to the Bad Crypto Podcast wherever fine podcasts are found. iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeartRadio. All the places except in your YouTube. Hearts. All the places except <laughs> YouTube because they hate us and we don't they know why. They hate us, that's true. Yeah. Very good. It's been fantastic. So until next time. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. And uh, Char let's, uh, let's let Charlie close out the go ahead, conference. Go, ahead, go, ahead, go in charge and finish it up. Yeah, so um, this is the end, unfortunately, of the Litecoin Summit. Hopefully, we'll do it again. You guys want us to do it again? Hey, Mr. Travis Wright. Wait. Lean. Annual. How about next month? <laughs> next week? Here, do, give me a sign here. Okay, we'll, we'll try to do an annual one. Um, I had a lot of fun. I want to thank all the, the Lycon Foundation members, volunteers, and everyone who helped uh, put this together. Um, it was a blast. Um, it was just great. It was Everything came together. And I don't know. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Cool. So um, take care. Great stuff. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Has to go, give it up. Make it to the airport, Travis. Go, go, go. Oh man, I got slime too.